Hello, everybody, and welcome again to another special episode of Weezcast Plus. I'm your host, Aiden Morton, with co-host Caleb Chassis and special guest Caleb Prindler. Today, we're going to be watching the Pinkerton music videos, which are El Scorcho, The Good Life, and Pink, Pink Triangle. Triangle. Pink Triangle. So we're going to watch those and then be right back. Cast. Hey everybody, we're back. Was that fast? Yes, it was. You're welcome. Who wants to start us off with El Scorcho? Um. Okay. Uh. So that was fast. Um. So every time when I watch this, uh, I think of Aiden's cover. Now, if you guys don't know, Aiden made a cover of a variety of Weezer songs. It's, well, it's not a cover. It's a. It's a uh, style. It's not like a style parody, even. It's a Weezer inspired. But, anyways, it's called the Blue EP. He released a few songs, and one of them is called. I forget the name of it's it. It's called Flopstar. It's called Flopstar, but it's like a mix of Beverly Hills and this song, if I'm correct. Yeah, kind of. And, like, it has that opening with that grrrr. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I always think of his song with that. That was probably not detail you, Aiden, wanted me to share. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, uh, I love. The weirdness to it. I love, especially in the music video, that they make that clear. Especially, like, the weird words that they put in it. Like, that... The, not the words. Well, how the Matt sound. Sharp is, like, going, like, saying stuff. <laughs> and it, yeah, like, he's saying that all the whole the video. He's, like, making weird noises and saying the lines before Rivers does, but weirdly. I think, like... It was weird. Like, uh... So, I liked the green uh, glowing sign, the Weezer sign. Yeah. They got a big neon sign. But did you notice it didn't say Weezer? It said... It said Weezerez at first, and then it said Meezer, and then at the end of the music video, then it said Weezer, but it kept on changing throughout the video. Well, I meant, like, the big one in the background. Oh. Oh, the W. Yeah, the W. Like, that, I thought was really cool, and then at the end, when it, like, sparks out... Like and then also like all the lighting like they got so much lights and that that would just be a lot of work and oh yeah be a like lot with the Christmas money. lights and yeah and then in it the keeps back changing. and then having everything sync and then the chandelier like timing exactly and everything. That's cool. it was really neat uh yeah Uh yeah this was probably my favorite video out of the three um same it's uh kind of uh, rivers in this video actually I feel like in all three of these videos looks a little bit like erratic and unstable <laughs> like it's mentally just cause he was <laughs> yeah, like, that's because listen to Pinkerton you'll understand <laughs> he's just like or the podcast looking at the camera like he's unbalanced inside and so it kind of uh, scary like, looks hmm, are you okay and then the rest of the band is just kind of like goofing off just like you know they usually do like the drummer his faces were priceless yeah um, really good love that guy he's hilarious um, yeah, it was kind of a weird song, but also equally weird music video, but it was, uh, it was kind of fun. It I was. It. I enjoyed it. It was cool how they were set up in like that really big room yeah. and all facing each other in the center of it. Yeah. Like the whole setup was really neat. Yeah. Very kind of a unique setup. Yeah. Kind of a unique band. Mm-hmm. Touche. You can t- really tell they're living the good life. Oh, unless you had more to say about El Scorcho? No, he said enough. <laughs> <laughs> Am I starting? Sure. All right, pizza. That's the most I got out of it. Out of the good life? Yeah, pizza. I feel like that's like what the basically the whole music video was about was making pizza and delivering. Well, it. that's not what it's about. It's about no. disfa- dissatisfaction with life. Yeah, but. Yeah. Disfat that, dissatisfaction from pizza. That's what. Well, no, it's not about the pizza. It's, about it's not. The about, it's just working the only. Th- okay, I understand the message, but the only thing that really just you think of the whole time is why, pizza. Why not? Because she delivers pizzas. What she does. It's just an example. Like, Even it said, deliver been, me. In it could have been any occupation, you know. But they chose pizza because they can show all of, like the stressfulness and the frustration like yeah, it's like, like, it's like, like a, the big it's, it's stressful to be a, a pizza driver because most of the time you see a big airplane or whatever making what what word was deliver it deliver me. me what the heck well that's it's irrelevant 
but yeah. also like has a deeper meaning. <laughs> yeah, it's symbolism, yeah. and it's it, it was good. Like it's kind of sad because a pizza. That's a common job. It's a common relatable thing to kind of yeah. collate with. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I'm so stupid. Because it's relatable. I'm so stupid. <laughs> he's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> I I didn't understand, but now I do. Okay. Uh, well, anyways, that's why we do this, so Caleb can understand. <laughs> I love, uh, oh my gosh, I was looking back at El Scorcho. Uh, I like how Pat uh, was using the maracas as drumsticks. That was yeah. really cool. And how whenever it was doing the really heavy hit on the snare, instead of actually hitting the snare, he would go like that with the maracas. <laughs> he wasn't even hitting it. Yeah. That That's hilarious. It seems like, the, I'm wondering how many music videos they're going to intentionally do stuff like that, where it doesn't even go. Yeah. All of his life. Um, it was kind of funny too, at the one point they were making a face. With, uh, with the symbols from the drum. They had taken off the symbols and they had like balls of dough and they made balls a face of, with it. Balls of dough? Yeah. They rolled the dough up into a ball. I didn't notice that. Well, two balls actually. <laughs> and then they made like a face. And yeah. then they how they were like flying around like they were airplanes yeah. around the, the set was kind of interesting and it was also like while well, the airplane was writing deliver me in the sky yeah. so i don't know it's interesting but kind of weird too yeah i feel like in this one rivers again did not seem okay yeah that makes sense though because it's pinkerton yeah he wasn't okay it's kind of a sad song yeah just like you so anything else about that one i feel like there wasn't a lot to talk about with that one no that was pretty straightforward i feel like a lot of their songs are confusing but it wasn't one. straight it was a triangle <clears throat> a pink one on the sleeve oh that's so i feel like with both these good life and pink triangle the music videos are kind of boring mm-hmm. comparatively to the ones for blue and compared to el scorcho el scorcho was really good it was really well done really exciting i'd love if they did like an hd remaster of it mm-hmm. um with those half japanese girls yep they do it to me every time, every time. how cool is that different line uh, I think that the beginning of the video, whenever it's saying, he, he keeps on saying, or it says that he keeps on hearing them say, married in my mind's no good, or something like that, one of the lines from the song, I think it's supposed to be like a neighbor talking about hearing them writing the song in the garage, and it's like they're talking to somebody, they're like, yeah, I don't know what's going on in there, they just keep on saying this over and over again, that's what I kind of got from the beginning, because it was a little weird, and how it was showing the cat, love the cat, love the cat. um i don't know i felt like this video wasn't so much like i don't know a music video it was mostly just like clips of like concerts and stuff and them recording just kind of all thrown together very low quality stuff i feel like it was kind of a a lower effort video than yeah definitely most of their other ones which seemed like surprisingly like a lot of effort it wasn't especially the blue yeah, album. Yeah, so it was, like, it was really low effort in comparison. Um, and, but yeah, when I saw like the title of the song and you said there's like a story behind it, I was thinking, oh, like, is there like a pink triangle, like, a love triangle? Only he like likes a girl who turns out to be a lesbian <laughs> like someone else. Yup. And then sure enough. Yup. That's exactly what it's about. She's a lesbian and he's dumb. And I want her to be straight. Wouldn't that be great? Huh. Then they could date. <laughs> but that's not married in his mind's no good. I also love River's beard at the beginning. Really I good. I was gonna point really that good. Out. Great beard. I I'd love sure to see more beard him. more often. Because like, really honestly, I'd love to go for a Rivers Cuomo style and look for myself, but I just can't do away with the beard. But if he rocked the beard more often, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I thought he looked really good as well. Um, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> um, my exact thoughts for Rivers looking good. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's funny because my exact words for what you were saying is I feel like they took footage from the Blue Album live and tried to make it seem like they were playing Pink Triangle. That's what it seemed like for some points. Like when they were doing the solos and that. Like, they weren't actually playing Pink Triangle, and it just seemed like they were just mixing around. Yeah, like, it didn't solos. match up with the song. I don't know if it was from Blue, but... Yeah, but it know. seemed like that, because that's, like, their... That was their big uh, point in life before Pinkerton. I guess. So, uh, it's it seems right. 
So yeah, that's all I really got from it. Nice. That's all I have to say. Um, I just feel like overall the songs were like pretty good. Um, I also feel like I enjoy them more when I'm watching them along with the videos. But yeah, I did enjoy all three, even though I feel like El Scorcho was probably the best one. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is Half Japanese it, Girl. It is a great song. That's the one that I had said that they did at the concert that I really, really enjoyed. I wish I oh, enjoyed true. it. You did say that. But um, so, thanks everybody for joining us for another episode of Weezcast Plus.